Sometimes it can be hard to believe that our modern canine friends are related to the wolves. To be more specific, dogs are more closely related to the gray wolf. Above all, these two incredible species do share an ancestor. Over time, the wolves and the dogs have grown apart but still share a lot in character, physique, and behavior. But where do we draw the line? Or better yet, what is the difference between our furry friends and the wolves? We'll take a nosedive into the lives of these two breeds and identify their similarities and differences. We'll also discuss any relevant information that will help you understand dogs and wolves better. So let's get down to business. Dogs versus Wolves <gasps> Physical Characteristics Have you ever noticed that dogs look so similar to wolves? Well, physical appearance is the obvious place to start when comparing dogs and wolves. But their muzzles, teeth, and even the size of their brain are a little bit different. Wolves and dogs have varying leg lengths and strengths. That's because the paw of a dog is almost half the size of a wolf. Additionally, the tail of dogs will typically curl upwards, which is not the case for wolves. Generally, wolves are more massive than dogs with longer muzzles, larger teeth, legs, and even physically larger brains. Additionally, wolves typically have a narrower chest with the front legs pressed in. On top of that, the elbows point inwards while the feet usually point outwards. The wolves also have a precaudal gland at the base of their tail which sends pheromones to other wolves. These pheromones send a signal that the wolf belongs to a specific pack. Dogs have the precaudal gland, but in dogs this gland is vestigial and only has minimal functionality. Domestication Dogs are man's first and loyal friend. That's because these species were the first to be domesticated and dogs are direct descendants of the wolves. Over 10,000 years ago, humans domesticated the wolves and the breed developed to dogs. Today, dogs are more responsive to training compared to wolves. Dogs respond to sounds and will take commands from their masters. However, wolves are more responsive to hand signals. Additionally, dogs can read facial expressions from their masters and have been known to respond to emotions. Wolves are hunters and they're good at it, and that's thanks to their physique. They have healthy wolf teeth, which are more robust than those of dogs. Wolf teeth can crush large bones within seconds. Behavioral Traits We all know that wolves are social animals and they will always move in a pack. Wolves typically need a fence and constant monitoring. On the other hand, dogs live on themselves and they don't need any containment. Dogs can live under the same roof as their masters. When it comes to sociability, dogs take the crown. They will easily connect with their masters emotionally and will respond to their commands without any hassle once they're trained. Since dogs were domesticated, they readily respond to training and eventually commands. It's virtually impossible to house train a wolf. Diet Dogs have adapted a more omnivorous eating habit thanks to their domestication and the urge to eat what humans eat. However, a wolf's digestive system is equipped to handle raw meat, go for days without food, and absorb nutrients from the environment differently from dogs. That is an important fact to remember, especially if you want to pet a dog. That's because dogs' ability to get rid of pathogens from raw meat is somewhat limited compared to their counterparts. As much as wolves can eat plant materials once in a while, they are true carnivores. On top of that, wolves will generally eat more than what dogs eat. Typically, that's because wolves understand that it might be long before they get the chance to eat again. Therefore, they end up eating a lot at once. But dogs eat almost every day, and they don't have to hunt for their food. The weird part is that a domesticated wolf will likely develop sickness due to the high protein levels. Shyness As much as we'd like to portray wolves as vicious animals, they're probably one of the shyest creatures in the wild. More importantly, wolves will try their level best to avoid human contact. In fact, very few people have had the chance to see a wolf in their lifetime. It's also relatively rare to spot a wolf attack a person. They tend to self-preserve themselves by running away from people. But dogs are not that shy. Even if you're a stranger, a dog will soon get comfortable around you to the extent that you can play together. Dogs are cuddly and they love human attention, especially from their masters. Strength Wolves are generally stronger than dogs and not just in terms of brutal strength. Wolves also have a higher level of intelligence and endurance compared to dogs. When there's a problematic situation, dogs will eventually quit. 
Most times, the dog will look at the master suggestively, asking for help. Wolves, however, will try and solve the problem by themselves. Their body is also designed for endurance, and they can take down prey in a matter of minutes. Additionally, wolves always hunt in a pack, especially when the mark is two or three times their size, for instance, bison. Their physical capability makes them fierce hunters in the wild. Reproduction Domestic dogs reach maturity quite early, that is, between 6 to 12 months. The larger dog breed will typically take longer to mature. On the other hand, wolves will take around 2 to 3 years to grow. After maturity, the male wolf will have to leave the pack and find a mate. The female wolves will stay within the group, and they come into season at most once annually. However, the female dogs will come into season about two times a year. One of the most critical differences between wolves and dogs is that only the alpha can mate and pass down his genes in wolves. But in dogs, there is no such hierarchy, and they will mate as many times as possible if not controlled. Meaning of play In dogs, playing is a fun experience to connect with their human masters and kids. However, the same case doesn't apply to wolves. They use play to teach their young ones some critical survival skills and social skills. The parents teach their pup how to hunt, discipline within the pack, and become leaders in the future. That helps them understand their limits, much like human kids. Such play learning is vital for wolves to know how to best communicate in the pack and respect the hierarchy. Through playing, the group will also learn how to hunt together. Dependence to Humans Last but not least is the fact that dogs are almost entirely dependent on their masters. There are feral dogs in the wild, but they don't fare so well since they've been domesticated to the point that they've lost their survival traits. Wolves, on the other hand, are entirely independent of humans. If it were up to them, then they would never have any contact with humans. It's hard to train a wolf even using primary commands such as sit or stand. It's clear that as much as dogs and wolves share an ancestor, these two breeds are quite different. That's because they've adapted to their environments to the extent of evolutionary change. What do I mean? Since dogs have been domesticated, it's hard for them to not only survive, but thrive in the wild. The same case applies to wolves. Because wolves were never domesticated, they find it challenging to connect with a master or even live in a home setting.